Hello everyone and welcome to On The Spot STEM. Today we'll be covering Ptolemy's Theorem, which is a helpful geometric formula for getting through competitive math competitions such as the AMC or for solving geometry problems in general. The theorem states that in a cyclic quadrilateral as drawn, AC times BD, or the product of the diagonals, equals AB times CD plus BC times AD. Or in English, if a quadrilateral is inscribable in a circle, then the product of the measures of its diagonals is equal to the sum of the products of the measures of the pairs of opposite sides. But now that we have the theorem, a theorem is not really much if it doesn't have a proof as to why it works. So here's a quick little visual proof to understand how it works. In Ptolemy's theorem, let's first start off by drawing a quadrilateral with its diagonals and inscribing it in a circle. We'll label each side length as such. Now we'll take mini triangles within that quadrilateral. As you can see, this one has side lengths B, C, and F, and we'll scale it up by a factor of A. That's a similar triangle. We'll do the same thing with two other triangles. This one has side lengths A, B, and E, and we scale it up by a size F. Notice how AF equals FA, so those two sides that mapped onto each other are equal. Doing the same thing with this last triangle, we see that it has side lengths A, D, and F, and we scale it up by a side length B. As before, we can map the two onto each other. And through angle chasing, we can see that this is a parallelogram. Because it's a parallelogram, if we take the two side lengths seen, they can map directly onto each other and be equal. Or in other words, AC plus BD equals FE. And that's the basis of Ptolemy's theorem. So let's look at how this actually applies to an AMC problem. This states that in triangle ABC, we have AB equals 7, AC equals 8, and BC equals 9. Point D is on the circumscribed circle of the triangle, such that AD bisects angle BAC. What is the value of AD over CD? Now with the geometry problem, the first step should always be to draw a picture. So I took the liberty of drawing a diagram, and as you can see, AD bisects angle CAB, and then the side lengths of CB is 9, BA is 7, and AC is 8. So this is obviously in a Ptolemy's theorem lecture, so we know that Ptolemy's theorem might be useful in this problem. So we can start off by making a cyclic quadrilateral. We notice that we want to find the length of CD, or at least something in that form, to answer the question. So we want to draw in CD, and to make the cyclic quadrilateral, we can also draw in DB. Now we have our cyclic quadrilateral, but we're missing a few side lengths. We're missing CD and DB and AD, but there's actually a relation here that we can exploit to make this problem a little easier. And that is the fact that since angle CAD equals angle DAB, the two arcs that they intercept are equal, which means that the two segments on along those arcs CD and DB are also equal with side length X. Now we have finally drawn our diagram and we can start applying Ptolemy's theorem. Ptolemy's theorem states that AB times CD plus AC times DB equals CB times AD. So plugging in the values that we have from our diagram, we see that that means that 7x plus 8x, which is also 15x, equals 9 times the side length AD. We also know that x is equal to CD. So through a little bit of algebraic manipulation, if we divide by x on both sides, then we can get a ratio if we divide by 9 on both sides as well. And we notice that our answer comes out to be 15 over 9, which simplifies to 5 thirds. Looking at our answer choices, we see that this maps to answer choice B. And so our answer is B. Thank you for watching, and I hope Ptolemy's theorem serves you well in the future for helping you get through some tricky, tricky problems. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, Subscribe for more amazing content.